Okay, we have a question here. This is from the coaching group. It's about swimming. It's about testosterone. Hello, Duran Rider. I do some ultra distance swimming. I've done several five to seven mile swims, a 10 miler. I am training for a 28 mile swim uh, in a few months time. As I increase my training volume, I'm worried about my recovery. Will lack due to my work. He, they also work, which is my work is stressful. I'm gonna summarize it. A loss of late nights and disturbed sleep. I already suspect my hormone levels are medium normal. I currently do 14 to 18 hours of training per week. That's a fair bit. Swimming, bike and running, training for some triathlon. But that will start to favor swimming more and more as I get back to January, March. I think occasional micro dose of test and regular testing can ensure I maintain high normal hormone levels and tolerate training very well. How do I find a doc who's willing to do this? Other doc I saw was, saw I was young and fit and thought I was just ridiculous. Uh, I don't know how old this dude is. Uh, I'm gonna, I wish, the more information you give me, the better the answers I can give you, all right? So let's, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a, an assumption, I'm gonna say this guy's between 20 and 30, which is, age is not that important, all right? What matters is your lifestyle, all right? What matters is your lifestyle. That's what matters for your recovery and how much sugar you're getting in. You know, your nutrition. Are you on point with nutrition? Are you doing my protocols of nutrition? If you're doing my protocols of nutrition, hydration and sleep, you're good to go. What I would recommend though, is get your hormones tested, all right? Because why would you take tests without doing tests first? And by taking tests, I mean testosterone without doing tests, aka blood tests. We want to check free testosterone, free testosterone, estrogen, right? SHBG. Um, those, basically those three things. We want to check your fire, your, th your firewood. We want to check your thyroid out, your TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. We want to look at your T3 and T4. Because right? so, if those are things that are creeping up, then we need more recovery. If your TSH is going up, we need more recovery, more carbohydrate, more nutrition protocols. You're in the group, I can tell you what to do. Um, I wouldn't take any testosterone personally until you're sure about that. Dude, but here's the thing. I would change your lifestyle, man. All right, Because yes, taking exogenous tests will help you absorb a lot of training, but you're going to shut down your own testosterone levels because you live, you're working a high stress job, is that really worthwhile? You know what I mean? You, if you're living your dream job, like something's gotta give. Like for me, I'm living my dream job. I coach people online, I sell shoes, I flip bikes. I, you know, I, I live a holiday lifestyle permanently. I don't have any kids. I have only, only have women in my life who are really, you know, easy to work with, etc. I have a very, very minimal social group because you know, I'm sort of, uh, I prefer it that way, you know. Um, otherwise, I know so many people, it's just sort of, if everyone was a part of me and piece of me and I feel something's neg neglected, so I just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going solo. Um, so it's your lifestyle. I'll look at your lifestyle before you start throwing in hormones, all right? Are you, are you going home from work and jumping on, jumping on TV, watching television or scrolling social media or on Netflix, you know? And then they're going to take testosterone just so you can do that more. <laughs> so is it, if, often if you, and I, I can speak from experience, all right? That's what makes me the best personal trainer out there because I've used the anabolic steroids, all right? And I'm totally open and transparent about it. And I've been Mr. Fucking Natural, not even touching caffeine or cacaoie wowies, all right? Because other, tra other trainers out there going, oh, don't use steroids. I've never done steroids. And it's like, they, they've done steroids. They're lying about it. So everything that comes out of the mouth, like Greg Duche, it's a half truth. You know, I'm natural in this photo. No, you're fucking not. You're fucking jacked on trend, motherfucker. You know, so you, you're not just going to take tests, man. All right. Let's say, let's say, let's just do a hypothetical. You're just going to take tests. You're going to get a prescription from your doctor and you're going to take a prescription test. All right. Let's, let's just live in a fairy tale world where you're just going to take tests. Nothing else. All right. Nothing else. Just a quick dissection from there. Nobody just takes tests. Even the guys who go, I'm just using a bit of tests. They got this fucking trend. Out. No, no, no. Okay. If you take, once you take real prescription grade testosterone and you ignite all those androgen receptors all over your body, and your schlong, and your brain, you know, all over your lungs, your, your freaking delts, just every, your feet. Once you ignite those androgen receptors and you're like, shit. <laughs> this is interesting. It's like having a, 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 a jackfruit. It's like going to Thailand and having a jackfruit, a good one. And you're like, mmm, damn. 
I'm going to try some mango, some Namdok Mai mango. I'm going to try some Maha Chinook mango, some tree ripened organic Maha Chinook mango. I'm going to try some of this Sirracha Sapolat pineapple. All right, and then you start trying all this shit sugar cane juice, fresh pressed sugar cane juice. Okay, trend. Okay, you're going to try all these things, man, because you're going to have such a good fucking experience. You're going to be like, Mm, what else is in the candy shop? Let's try some other shit. And that's just how it's going to happen. So I don't recommend walking down the corridor, trying stuff out, unless you're really sure it's a one-way street. All right? You're going to be using it for life, pretty much. Okay? And the people out there who say they don't, <laughs> they're just talking bullshit. Okay? So that's what's going to happen, pretty much. You're always going to be, it's just a one-way street, man. So don't go down that street unless you want to really go down that fucking street, man. Okay? So, using testosterone so you can swim a fun swim better when you're living a high stress life, for me, so you're a young guy, in my opinion, honestly, is stupid. And that's not the answer you want, it's not the answer you pay me to get, but you pay me to tell you the truth about topics of health, fitness and performance. So I'm gonna give you the truth. I'm gonna give you the, both the scenarios here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna, let's walk down the path of you do use it, We'll get to that in a second. Let's walk down the path of you stay natty. I would say, if you want to get better at swimming, then get a swimming coach to work on your technique. Get your swimming technique down pat that Michael fucking felt to go, damn, you got a really pretty, a really handsome, a very aesthetic, a very technically advanced swim strokes. Because swimming's so technical, all right? You can be like me, like a drowning praying mantis in a fucking washing machine, flashing around everywhere. You can take all the tests you want, ain't gonna do that much. So get your technique down pat as a swimmer, all right? That's what I'd recommend. Wetsuits, can you use a wetsuit in the event? Is that gonna give you an advantage? Like things like that, look for, let's look for marginal gains before we go down the PED route, okay? So I, I know, I've met so many people who do PEDs for swimming and cycling and their, their nutrition's not dialed in and I'm like, you seriously, you're gonna use EPO when you're eating like that? It's like, dude, that's so fucking dumb, man. And you're still not as fast as me. Or you are faster than me, but you'd be way faster if you ate like me and did some little lifestyle modalities like give you my coaching group. You know, if we just change the little things. Don't use EPO. I mean, yeah, sure, use it if you want, but why use EPO when you're still not at your max natty potential? It's just dumb. It's dumb, okay? Dumb, dumb, diddly dumb. Now, in terms of building muscle, Who's at their max potential natty, natty before they get on? Was Schwarzenegger at his max potential before he went on the juice? No. Was anyone out there, Ziz or the, the icons of the, the bodybuilding world, were any of them natty before they dropped on the, uh, you know, maxed out their net? None of them were. And the ones who say they were just talking bullshit, trying to set a good example for the younger kids out there. And I get that, but it's, they're talking nonsense, man. Okay? Talking nonsense, all right? And everyone has different genetics when it comes to muscle growth. But we're, we're talking cardio performance here. Let's say you got your best swim stroke down pat, okay? Let's look at your other lifestyle. Get rid of your shit kicker job so you can make payments on your Tesla or your B. Who gives a fuck what car you drive? Just get rid of your fucking car or just downgrade to a fucking shit box and it will ride a fucking bike. Get an e bike, all right? And then you can do less hours at work, get better recovery. Why are you working so hard? Do you, you got, maybe you got kids, okay, fair enough, but your kids becoming spoiled brats because you're buying the latest iPhone 14 or whatever. Give them a fucking, don't give them, give them a phone. If they want a phone, they can collect cans and bottles and get one. Social media is fucked for kids anyway, all right? What are kids doing with phones these days? Unless you're going to use a phone to make money, you're just going to use a phone to compare and despair with all the kids on TikTok using filters and shit. So snatch that phone out of your kid's hand and fucking sell it. <laughs> um, just talking real talk here, man. Real fucking talk. No one's going to tell you this shit because this, is, this isn't PC here. Right, we, we do truth when it comes to health, performance, fitness. You ask me to, for the truth, I'm going to give you the truth. All right? Simple as that. I might bullshit with prank videos and other things, but when it comes to health, performance, fitness, you pay me for the truth, you're getting the truth. Whether you like it or not, I'm just going to give you the truth. Um, because you, that's what you pay me for, man. You pay me to help you get your best results. It's kind of like becoming coming down a set, we have to move. But, uh, so look, let's look at your lifestyle modalities, man. Sleep. Nutrition, hydration, you know? Like, okay, so let's say we've maxed out all those things, th then you'll be like, you're actually taking tests pretty dumb, all right? Now let's say you have maxed out those things and you still wanna get on the test, all right? Then 
you, you get testosterone from your doctor if your testosterone levels are low, right? So if you're genuinely training that hard that you're shutting down your test levels, then yes, you can go to a doctor and go, doc, look at my test, it's like a 13 year old girl doing the keto diet and I need some assistance. And they'll just write up a script and go, there you go, mate, take it easy, see you later. That's what happens. If they're a fucking real doctor, right? Because real doctors prescribe drugs that their patients request because the patients are symptomatic. I got depression, the doctor gives them freaking drugs. Now I'm not agreeing with any of this stuff, I'm just saying this is what is done. I've got <coughs> a cough, I've got asthma, they give them the puffer. I've got, okay, my blood test says I've got low testosterone, here's, here's your testosterone. My blood test says I've got low estrogen, here's, here's your estrogen. I want to have sex with fuck boys in the weekend, I don't want to use a rubber. Okay, here's a contraceptive pill. Here's a plan B pill, that doesn't work. You know, it's, it's, that's what doctors do. They give out drugs based on the symptoms you present them. So if you say, hey, I want to be a better swimmer, they're like, no, nah, no testosterone for you. You come with a blood test proving it, okay, here's the testosterone. You know, some, some people out there on the internet, they, maybe they use some drugs like D-Bol or some DECA, some suppressive stuff they bought online, some real stuff, and then they, all of a sudden they find their testosterone is zero, and they go to the doctor and say, hey, test is zero, what do I do? The doctor's like, here's your fucking test, get on it. Get on it, son. You know, so that's what can happen. But here's the thing, you go down that route of using anabolics, you're not going to stop with tests. You're going to be using all the candy shops, all the goodies. All right? This is how it's going to be, man. Because uh, people respond differently to different things. Some people respond better to DECA than test. And some people, because resp- yes, maybe it's more hair friendly. So then there's all sort of side effects. Hair. All right? If you like me, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. I used to shave. I had Hollywood hair. I used to shave it off anyway. Hair, no, yeah, whatever. Um, my girlfriends appreciate my hair. Um, some guys out there appreciate my hair. But uh, I don't really, I'm whatever, you know. But, but maybe you really like your hair and you're going to take anabolics and that's going to shred your hair out in a couple of weeks or a couple of months or a couple of years. Who knows? It's gen- genetics. Are you ready for that? Oh, I'll just do finasteride, block my DHT. And it's like, <laughs> you're going to block DHT, which is one of the most powerful hormones in the male body for, for all the good things. You're going to like block that. You're going to take tests to get anabolic and then you're going to take finasteride to block the androgenic benefits of DHT. It's like, fuck, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. All right. Um, at the start, it sort of did. And I was like, hang on, doing my homework. No, nah, that doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, fuck that. Um, that's just my personal opinion. All right, so let's look at side effects. So you got, let's talk about the hair, okay? Only use anabolics if you don't care about your hair. So, hair is one side effect. The other side effect is gyno. You get big tits, all right? You grow breast tissue. That can happen. Some guys it does, some guys it doesn't. Are you ready for that? All right, what's the solution? Some people use things like Nolvadex and Letrozole and all sorts of whatever. <laughs> dangerous drugs in my opinion. Some guys just get surgery. Some guys just run it, I don't care, whatever. Uh, another one would be, some other side effect would be libido. All right, for some guys on gear, their libido goes right up. And that can cause problems in the relationship, okay? Now all of a sudden the freaking, uh, <laughs> You know, the, the freaking, the letterbox looks appealing. All right, so you just can be careful of that. All right, some guys, this is going to get out of hand. They're going to get themselves into trouble. All right. That can be a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. So the main side effects of anabolics is hair, cosmetic, gyno, cosmetic, libido, <laughs> fantastic or not fantastic. Okay, so you can have some potential issues there. Get yourself in some real trouble. All right, real trouble, man. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's what you want to be wary of. Okay. Um, I would say don't take anabolics. All right. Don't take them. And if you are going to take them, wait five years of doing the homework. All right. And really visualizing yourself having these side effects. How are you going to deal with it? All right. Simple as that. But better yet, I would say don't use them. Okay. Don't use them. Um, me, am I glad I used them? Fuck yeah, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a coach, all right? I'm a coach. I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice certain things in my life, early nights or whatever or whatever, to gain an, an opinion that's based on my personal experiences, okay? So I can help other people make that same choice or avoid that bad choice, okay? So I have no regrets. I have no regrets at all. Um, would I recommend it for people? Depends what their goal is. Uh, if you want to look like a, one of these fake netty dudes out there, then... That's what they do, that's, what, that's what's done. But you know, then again, do you want to live a lie like they live? These people aren't happy. 
There's people out there who use steroids on social media. I'm not talking about the professional athletes, the cyclists, the swimmers, the runners. They have to lie because of sports entertainment. I'm talking to guys and girls out there who use steroids and get this really enhanced physique, you know, small, big, whatever, it's just enhanced 3D look. And they lie about it. And they say, I don't take steroids. I don't know anything about steroids. I just buy my protein powder, 10% off this. I don't use steroids, I just train hard. Get me as a coach, I'm the best coach in the world. I just train hard, I don't use any steroids. And they're fucking narcissistic sociopaths, man. Simeon Panda, Daniel Lynn Bailey, fucking Matt Does Trend, Athtrenex, all, yeah, whatever, Greg Duchesne. Oh, I use a little bit of test here and there, but not, just, you know, they just lie, they sell this Turkestrone bullshit. You know, this, this supplement crap, just lying through their teeth. Sean Baker, that keto carnivore dude, just lying through their teeth, man. You know, so that, that's, I have a, a little bit of an issue with that. I don't have any hate towards these people. I, I feel sorry for these people. They're going to lie to the audience that much. And let's say you've got a Tour de France winner, or you've got Michael Phelps, or Michael Jordan. These people who use performance enhancing drugs to win at the top level, they lie. But they're entertainers. Like, oh, we want them to take drugs, to, to slam dunk that hard, to swim that, that fast in the pool like a fucking tuna fish, to ride the mountain up that fast, those wattages. We want them to do that. That's entertainment, okay? We, the USC, Conor McGregor, full of fucking steroids and speed and painkillers. He, he puts on a great show, you know? Fuck everything he does. Um, but the, you know, and no one buys a UFC shirt thinking they're going to be like Conor McGregor. No one buys a, a bike thinking they're going to be like, you know, a Tour de France champion, you know? No one, no one gets a speedo goggles thinking they're gonna be like Michael Phelps, all right? We don't, but people buy programs and go to the gym doing these stupid diets thinking they're gonna look like Athtren X or whatever. They're not gonna look like them ever because these people who buy the products are natural and the people who sell the products are taking anabolic androgenic steroids, okay? They are, and they're lying to your face about it. And most people don't care because they believe in fairy tales. Do you know how you're just jealous? Just because someone's bigger than you doesn't mean anyone's steroids. <laughs> That's right, it doesn't. People, you can be fatter than me, you know? Or you can have genetically more muscle than me because you've been genetics and training for 20 years. Fair enough. But there's people out there who are on steroids, all right? And when I say they're on steroids, that's my opinion based on 25 years of being around steroid users. It's my opinion based on supplying steroids to certain people, okay? It's my opinion based on taking steroids in my own body and seeing my transformations and seeing how it works in the body, et cetera. So that's what my opinion is based on. My opinion is based on talking with you know, professional level uh, bodybuilders and or, or so I should say, and people who have extensive experience about steroids. All right? I'm like a little small fry on that one. And I asked them, do you think this person's natty? Pfft, no, the fucking way they're not natty. I was like, okay, I didn't think so either. You know, so like talking to full on people, it's, it's, a, it's a bit like, it's a bit like those guys out there who've never fucking, you know, they've never had a hot girlfriend and they're gonna tell you exactly what it's like to have a hot girlfriend, had a manager and do all the extra benefits and sides and that comes with the hot girlfriends or whatever. You know, like the guys, oh, I, read on, I read it on the internet, this is how it is. <laughs> I've got no fucking personal experience. I, I've never been to Thailand, but uh, it's like this. <laughs> Doing right, I wouldn't know what Thailand's like. You're like, oh, I've never been there, but Doing right is a jerk. He's an idiot. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I love doing what I'm doing. I, I love learning from people who've fucking got the experience. All right? That's what I love learning from. Being people who are going to tell you the fucking truth about their experiences versus just bullshit you to protect your ego or their ego or make some more money off you or whatever. Fuck that, man. Life's too short to hang out with people who are gonna bullshit you at your expense, at your health goals not achieved, your fitness goals not achieved, your lifestyle goals not achieved because someone bullshitted you to scam you for money, all right? Fuck that. That's fucked.